Hi, I'm Nuke from The Carbon Project and welcome to the Gaia video tutorial. In this tutorial we'll discuss some of the many features of Gaia. We'll begin by how to download and install the application. There are a couple of ways to download Gaia. The first way is to go to our website at www.thecarbonproject.com In the center of the page you will see a learn about Gaia link. Follow that link and you will see a download link. The second way is probably the better way is to go to decarbonportal.net. You will have to register, it's a free registration and uh, once you register and log in uh, you'll get uh, uh, access to many resources and uh, and goodies. So I logged in and once I logged in in the main menu there are various links one of them is downloads. I'll click on the downloads and you can see that uh, there are various resources uh, from the carbon project. Um, if I scroll down there's a Gaia folder with eight downloads. I'll click on that. In this folder you can download and install Gaia uh, there are other uh, there are users guides, uh, extenders developers guide and so on and various extenders. Um, we'll talk about these extenders in a second. First thing first let's uh, download and install Gaia. So I'll click on this link here and I'll ask uh, Windows to install. The file size is about 1.2 megabytes, so it's a very quick uh, download and the installation press process takes you through very generic uh, pages. Um, it's a very quick uh, uh, process. Uh, all you need to, to have is a .NET Framework 2.0 or later. If you do have the .NET 3 or 3.5 installed, uh, don't worry about it, Gaia will do just fine. Once this is done, I can run Gaia, no problem whatsoever. Before I finish this part of the tutorial, I want to uh, go ahead and, uh, and install a plugin, or a Gaia extender as we call them. I want to uh, install this extender, which is a USGS framework one click. The only thing I need to do is save the DLL to the same place where Gaia 3 is installed. In this case, and usually that's the case, it's C, Program Files, D Carbon Project, Gaia 3. I'll just save it there and Gaia will immediately recognize that this is uh, uh, an extender. So when I run Gaia again, you can see that new functionality was added. In this case, it's the USGS Quick Bar that I just downloaded. If I go to File Extenders, I can see which extenders are installed. In this case, we have one extender. So that wraps up uh, this part of the tutorial. Uh, I hope you'll join me in the second part where uh, we discuss uh, some of the basic features of the Gaia user interface and functionality.